Now, you want to uh, have a chat uh, for those that may be on any sort of uh, time schedule. Just want to make sure we try to start as on time as possible. Um, right. Hi, uh, my name is Bill Sessory. I'm one of the owners of the library here. Um, uh, when Ryan came and asked if they could uh, beam a signal here to do this demonstration, I was happy to oblige. I, uh, I'm very excited about their technology and their company and what the, um, the, the impact that that could have on downtown Jacksonville, Jacksonville in general. And so I was happy to, uh, to have him come in and, and do this demonstration here. Um, the, uh, they are, their technology has a potential to not only bring jobs and make Jacksonville more of an IT central location, but it bridges the, um, the the digital divide, if you will, where uh, where underserved and uh, peoples will will have um, better uh, better access to the uh, services he supplies. So, ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Younger of uh, Ringtail Technology. that's here today. We appreciate your uh, support and turning out and in your time today. Um, we have a few people that will be uh, speaking um, and we would like for them to take an opportunity to, uh, to tell you a little bit about their story. But um, real quick, our story, which is kind of interesting, is that um, you know our technology was birthed out of Belize, Central America. And um, if you could imagine being able to beam all of the niceties that you have in your home today, in terms of internet and telephone and television into the jungle, we've done it. We've done it, and people love it. And um, we continue to, uh, to improve that and to work on it. And um, one of the reasons that uh, our technology is different, um, some of you may be familiar with the FCC's current ruling with uh, white space in the old television spectrum. Um, that is now an open frequency uh, that is, un, you know, in the, uh, basically unlicensed, um, and there are certain requirements that equipment has to meet to be able to operate in that spectrum. Our equipment exceeds those expectations by what the FCC requires at this time, and we believe to be one of the first people to be close to market with the only, only piece of technology that can do that. And that's what we will get to later today. But um, right now, I want to go ahead and uh, bring up Lynn Griffin. And he's going to uh, talk to you a little bit about um, what he's working on and how our technology will help what he's working on. Lynn? <coughs> uh, this is a vice well, president here at Hollywood Department, Mr. Carlton Freeman. He's just coming up as well. Uh, my name is Lynn Griffin. I'm the operation manager at Hollybrook Apartments. Hollybrook was once known as one of the worst public housing complexes here in Jacksonville. Well, let me give you a little stats for the last two years what we're able to accomplish by bringing technology in and enhancing the education. Uh, for the last two years, all of our high school seniors have graduated. We have, uh, of those that graduated, 6% of those have gone on to college. And so we're proud of that. We noticed that the lack of technology, the lack of access to the internet, uh, it, is, it really hindered our kids from learning. So we see this as something very important uh, to kind of expand in the community. We have it on a small scale right now in the computer lab, and we also notice that a lot of the parents are more interested in obtaining a GED. A lot of the parents are more interested and, and involved in the kids' education. So we're excited about it. We're looking to take this model and expand, and we're looking to work real close with uh, Rita. It's free. Um, just to reiterate what Mr. Griffin already said, um, Howard Brook, it's not that they don't want to learn, they are eager to learn, but they need to be exposed. And this right here gives us an opportunity to expose them to stuff that they would never have seen before. And we're excited about that opportunity because the, the stars are limited as far as they can go with it. And we appreciate you guys coming out there. And I'm excited about it, and I'm sure they are too. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. This is, this, is, uh, this is one great 
example of how technology can help in the underserved areas. You know, it's not necessarily that, uh, that technology is a end-all, be-all fix for what's going on in the world today. But we do find out through various studies and, and understand that you know, sometimes the disadvantaged kids, as it were, or the underserved, um, if they have an opportunity to be able to become educated, even if it's later in life, they pass that on to their kids. And that's one of the reasons why that Ringtail is important to the Hollywood Project, because it can deliver those services at an affordable price to people that would not normally be able to afford it. So, uh, next person I want to bring up is Marie Burnett. Destination Success, which teachers can go on and assign specific grade level appropriate assignments for students, and it's available 24-7. They just need their log on, you know, and their password, and they can go at any time. These assignments have tutorials, and then they can go on and have quizzes. They, they re-tutor them if they don't do well with quizzes. The other aspect, and some of you might know this if you have children, we have a parent portal available now. It's available to all Duval County um, schools uh, or all Duval County parents. You go and get your log on and you can look in, um, at your student, at your child's grades every day, attendance, upcoming assignments, anything like that. It's, it's updated daily. Um, we, at, at the school, I, I'm at a school that's off St. John's Bluff Road. We're not a Title I school, but I'm still, I run into a very, a lot of parents that don't have the, these things for their, their students, their children. They don't have Wi-Fi in their house. They don't have a, a computer, you know, they, they just can't to get things like that and they try to go to the library but the library's not always open parents work you know they can't go at, at all this time so something like this would be a wonderful opportunity for uh, you know students at, at all levels and especially I, like you said the graduation rate I, I could see it skyrocket you know the graduation rate and test scores you know we're all about the FCAT and testing and things like that you know I, I see that you know just going through the roof as well as I think the key to it is the teacher and the parent communication that's going to cause a lot of achieve achievement with the students. So I, I think this is a wonderful thing and look forward to it being in many homes shortly. 